with this guy, sometimes we get like a square end, okay? So this square end's a, it's a bit more difficult. And um, they usually like to give the triangle ends, but they might throw in a square end just to make it really hard. So, I mean, how to do that is if we take the line that we made, right? Here's our centerpiece. We made a line three mils up and a line three mils up. If we take that across, we're going to end up right here. We're going to end up right here. We're going to have a mill on each side, right here and here, that we need to compensate for, okay? That's kind of annoying, but six plus two obviously will give you eight. You can't just put six over here and make a square that's, you know, six mils long because you're going to get marked off on that and that's going to be a failure. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Here we have, well, I got a blue soap here. It's a bit different than the lavender one. They might give you this blue soap. They might give you this lavender one. It kind of changes each year with what they give you on the test. But here's a blue soap. And I made my quadrants already on this soap, as you can see. I made my quadrants. It's kind of dark, so it's a bit harder to see. But I made my quadrants the same way that I made my quadrants on this soap. So just really quick, I shaved down these lines here. Shaved down there. Shade down there just to make it flat, right? Nice and smooth. Then I took the ruler, right? Measured it. 16, so half of that is eight. Put a little mark at eight, a little line. Took the ruler off, eyeballed it. Made sure it was 90 degrees. Rotate up, slide back. That line's good. Taking my sharp pencil, going across like that. Other side, that, right? Connecting those two lines over here. Okay. So that's important. Now, in order to make this little square here, it's actually pretty straightforward. All we really need to do is take our ruler again. So what I like to do is I like to get all this out of the way. So let's pretend that that's all done. And let's just focus on this area here, right? This end piece. So let's use this end, okay? So it's nice four quadrants. It's nice and even. You can't really see too well, but the pre-made line is right here. It's dark, so it's just a bit harder to see but that's in quadrants, okay? You're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna go four mils up. One, two, three, four. You're gonna make a little line there, okay? Perfect. You're gonna spin it around and do it again. Hold it, steady. One, two, three, four. When I'm doing all these lines, I just want you guys to notice my hand positioning, okay? So I'm holding the, the um, blade and the handle like this, okay? Kind of like you hold a pencil, right? The difference is I have a stability fulcrum with my with my finger here, it's resting on the soap like this, okay? And in dentistry, you kind of do this all the time in, in some instances, so I mean, I guess I'm a bit used to it, but you're gonna hold the, you're gonna hold the instrument like a, like a pencil and you're gonna have this resting here, or you can even use maybe your middle finger depending on what you like, but I like to use this finger. It's gonna be like that, okay? That's what keeps it steady, so you can make these lines, okay? So I just made that little notch four mils above this centerpiece. Right, I made this little notch here, four mils above this center line. Now I'm just gonna make lines. So I'm gonna put the blade right over top. And this is eyeballing it again, okay? Slowly rotate up. Make sure it's totally perpendicular to that center line. And pull across. So that was pretty good, right? So let's see the next one. Right here, it's flat and we're rotating up. We're pulling across. So now we got kind of like half that square done, which is nice. Just like that, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do it again for the other side. You're gonna hold it like this. Remember how to hold that knife. Four mils up. This side here. There we go. One, two, three, four. Right there. One, two, three, four. Right there. So 
So I put a little mark right here, four mils above this center line again, and four mils here. Okay, so now we're just gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna hold it steady, hold the knife kind of like this, rest my finger against the soap so it doesn't move around. Flat and up. Make sure it's totally parallel to that center line and then slowly and carefully pull across. You don't wanna to pull too much because you might chip it. So just be really careful with that. Line it up again. Up and across. Okay, good. So now we have this square and if we measure it, it's eight mils perfectly right there. And it's eight mils right there, okay? Right there. Make the line's a little bit more exaggerated so you can see. Okay, there it is. That's your little square at the end. Okay, so uh, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have these um, sloped lines, so let's do that here. And then I'll, I'll move back to this soap to, to show you how to do the rest, okay? So again, we want 10 mils, right? So let's do 10 mils. That's right there. Let's wrap this around carefully. Make sure it's flush, right? We're making sure it's flush. I'm putting it there. Remember what I said about the buffer in the previous video? So maybe even put it closer to 9.5 instead of 10, so you can actually shave it down if you had to. Because going over, you're done. If you if you go under and, you, and uh, with this end piece, then you can obviously just shave away some more, right? As I explained in the other video, the previous video. Okay, so there's that. Now, as you can see, we have a line here. Okay, we have a line here. We have a line here. We have a line here. If you can't see those very well, maybe, let's do that. There, you can see that one fine. There. So, if we look at this end piece, it's sloped, okay? This is sloped, oh, this is eight mils. Okay, so the previous one was 10 mils. That's why I put 10 down, but it's actually eight here, and that's why it's really important to double check your measurements. Okay, so let's do eight mils. Okay, so we'll just take it two mils back. So yeah, and that's a simple mistake that you can make on the, on the die, right? So it's really important to get your measurements down perfectly and then double check them. See, if I wouldn't double check that, I would have gotten like a four on the dot if I did that. So it's eight. Always double check before you make your cuts, like I said in the past video. So let's make a second line. And, and as I said before, like it's no problem making more lines. Like if you messed up and you, and you did um, a line like that was 10, that was supposed to be eight, as long as you haven't carved anything, it's not a big deal. They're not gonna grade the lines. They don't grade the lines. You can make as many lines as you want. There, now that's eight, okay, perfect. Okay, and I'll show you how to make this, this slope here, okay? So, what I do is, you look at this from each side, from each fluted um, end. Okay, so this, this side here is gonna be fluted, this side here is gonna be fluted, this side here is gonna be sloped and sloped as well, okay? So, if you look at this, little um, square that we got going on here. We have a, a, a side here, right there, that we wanna bring over, just like that. We wanna bring over just like that, okay? Now, you take your blade just like that, and you're gonna roll it very carefully up to this line, okay? So I'm gonna show you that again. You're gonna take your blade here and you're gonna roll it up to that eight mil mark, lining up with the center. Okay, so I'm gonna show that. 
Here's our line. Rolled it up with the blade right there. Now we're gonna do it for the other side here. This side right here, this line. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We're gonna take our knife right there and we're gonna roll it up to the center, okay? So now we have one of the sides completed for our lines. We need another one here, another one here, another one here. So I'm gonna show you that. This is what it looks like. It's curved up, so I took my blade and I curved it up like that. Meeting that eight mil line, that eight mil mark, right in the center. Okay. Now we're gonna do it again. I'm just gonna do this really quick and I'm gonna show you guys the end product here. That's what it looks like at the end, okay? So each one of these sides, you go from the line that you made, four mils up from the center, four mils up from the center, four mils up from the center, and again over here. You're gonna take the end of that line and you're gonna roll it up right to that center piece at the eight, that center line where the eight line is. Again, for this side, you're gonna do that for all four because you need four sloped sides, four flutes.